Well, my name is Mark and I've got five great cruising tips for you that will save you money, help you plan for a cruise, and overall help you create a more enjoyable cruise vacation experience. Now all these tips come from an ex-cruise ship officer who has gotten fed up with the cruise ship industry and has finally revealed all of the secrets the cruise lines don't want you to know. So let's get started. Alright, tip number one. How to cruise for free. Now anyone wants to cruise for free. One way to cruise for free is to cruise as an instructor. If you have a special skill such as being able to teach dance, arts and crafts, computers, bridge, knitting, anything that people might be interested in learning, a cruise company may be willing to exchange a free cruise to you for a couple of hours of your time to teach the class on the ship. Now, I just want to let you know there are many ways to cruise for free, but this is just one of them. Now, I know some of you are going to watch this video and might not be able to finish it, so I want to let you know that you can gain instant access to all of, this, of these tips and actually hundreds of other tips at cruisesecretsexposed.com. But let's move on. Tip number two, the best time to book your cruise to secure the best price. Now you might think that the best time to book a cruise would be far in advance or last minute just before the cruise sails. Well, you would be wrong. The absolute best time to book your cruise and get the class cabin you want is between 120 days and 90 days before the cruise sails. This will give you the, a great selection of cabins at the best possible price. If you wait to the last minute, the selection of cabin you may want will probably not be available, forcing you to pay more for a class cabin you don't really desire. For example, if you want a cabin with a balcony and you wait till the last minute chances are you're not gonna get a balcony in my opinion by the way if you can afford a balcony cabin I would do it I won't cruise anymore personally unless I have a, ca a balcony the reason is it just adds to the cruise experience you know, some people say you know I'm never gonna be in the room anyways uh, which is totally valid but in my opinion it is totally worth getting the balcony. I mean, for example, if you know you're getting ready for dinner and you go and you shower up from the day, you know, hanging out on top of the deck and you're getting ready and you know your wife takes forever to get ready, you're just sitting in the room waiting. Um, you know, and instead of waiting in a room with just a bunch of walls, you can go out and hang out on your balcony. Or another example is if you have small children, you know, and they go to bed early, what are you going to do? You're going to put them to bed, and then you have to be in your room. So, you know, you can grab some drinks, go sit on your balcony, and, um, you know, hang out there with your spouse, and still be able to enjoy your cruise while the kids are falling asleep in the room. And that's just a little side note on, you know, balconies and uh, just my opinion there. But um, back to the best time to book your, your cruise. So, you know, to recap, to get the best price at the best selection, 120 to 90 days out from sailing to get the best price and the best selection of cabins. Okay, tip number three, bring air freshener. Uh, this might seem like a weird tip, but you'll appreciate it if you have a problem with your cabin. See, cruise ships can have plumbing issues, and I've heard some horror stories of nastiness coming up from the drains. If this happens, uh, you're going to wish you had a small can of air freshener with you. Plus, cruise ship cabins are small and bad smells travel quickly throughout the cabin, if you know what I mean. So bring yourself a small can of air freshener. Alright, tip number four. Shore excursion savings. Now, a great way to save money and avoid a crowded tour is to go to the end of the pier when you disembark and find a private taxi that will take you on a tour of the island if that's kind of the uh, short excursion that you're looking to do, you know, a tour of the uh, island. What happens is that the cruise industry, what they do is they hire basically taxi drivers to take people on the tour. So all the excursions that the uh, cruise line is offering are just taxi drivers anyways that you can just go to the end of the pier and hire one yourself. You can avoid, uh, you know, being in a large group, and you can actually save money because the cruise industry basically just jacks the price up uh, to make some extra money on these, 
these tour operators. So, you know, these, these taxi drivers are really just, you have to find one that's rated as a tour operator, and it's just like taking one that you would, you know, through the cruise line. So you can save some money, you can go at your own pace, it's just a lot more enjoyable. All right, and for the last tip, tip number five, how to get on the VIP list. The best way to get on the VIP list is to simply ask to be on the list. You want to be on the list because you're going to be able to get a lot of the free extras that would otherwise cost you hundreds of dollars. The trick is to give the cruise company a reason to treat you like a VIP. You can tell them you're writing a cruise review online, that you want uh, to take your business employees on an appreciation cruise, or that maybe you're in charge of uh, putting together the neighborhood cruise um, because you're part of the the uh, homeowners association. You know, it really doesn't matter uh, as long as you give them a reason um, to treat you like a VIP. They want you know to make sure that you have a good uh, experience on your cruise. So you can get on that list. Just think of anything that um, you know will make them want to treat you like a VIP. So there you have it. There are. There's your five cruise tips uh, you can use on your next cruise. And, and like I said earlier, there are hundreds of awesome cruise tips that you can find instantly. If you just go on over to CruiseSecretsExposed.com, and uh, there you'll be able to get instant access to some really incredible tips. So I hope these tips were helpful to you, and I hope you have a great time on your next cruise. Thanks a lot.